Good morning everybody. I am down in the basement and I'm going to be getting started on building the bar top for the kitchen project upstairs. Uh, don't mind the mess down here. It's We're still in progress with uh, you know cleaning and putting things away. All that fun stuff, unpacking. But it is time to get started on this because I think it's actually going to take me more days probably to like more consecutive days of working on this this top to you know take it from you know in its raw material form to you know finished stained you know multiple coats of clear finish over it and all that stuff to be able to install it hopefully later next this week or on the weekend before i have to go back to work so show you what i'm going to be doing and just for the record this is not a you know my way is the best way. I have never done something like this before uh, in full clarity. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. I've been thinking about it a lot last several days on how I'm going to actually, you know, make up this, this bar top and have it installed where it's stable, but also, you know, not a lot of visible fasteners and stuff like that. So here's what I got. So for a while I was trying to figure out how I was going to actually make the top itself. And then I was in Lowe's the other day getting some stuff and I saw that they have these pre-assembled project panels and they're nothing fancy they're just you know some yellow pine that's glued together but it's going to work out pretty well this is an eight foot piece and then i have a three foot one down there as well because i need about 10 feet so i needed to get two separate pieces i do have this uh craig pocket hole jig um, set up here which i'm going to be using for a few different aspects primarily you know attaching these two together and then i have some more pine one by 12s down there and a couple poplar one by twos so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to have it be a full inch and a half thick by basically making it be two separate layers the finished layer on top which will be you know these panels and then i'm going to have one by 12s underneath of it to help it be sturdier just thicker a uh, generally more sturdy and stable um, you know bar top and then i'm going to use poplar one by two to make uh to basically edge band it make edging around it um partially because it's a little bit it's a little bit more it's a denser wood it's more it's a little bit denser than the pine so it'll help hopefully help that edge from getting dinged up and nicked up and stuff over the over time uh, but also add a little bit of a color contrast. Like we'll stain, we'll stain the whole thing with one color, and the stain is going to take different on the yellow pine versus on the poplar. So it'll just be a little bit of a you know color contrast on the edge. So I'm going to start by just gluing I, everything I do. I'll pocket hole, pocket hole, and glue things that I'm trying to you know laminate together. Uh, like end grains and then i have some screws to also screw the two assemblies together and i'll, I'll kind of walk through this whole process as i'm you know going through it uh, i don't know where my tripod is unfortunately i've been looking for a little while this morning i can't find it so i'll do my best with you know camera setups to try to film some of the stuff as i'm working on it but it's kind of going to be a like here's what i did versus like you know the whole process of me actually doing it especially since I'm kind of making it up as I go. So I'm going to, I already measured how long it needs to be. And so now I'm gonna just go ahead and start cutting stuff down to size and kind of working it together. So I got eight pocket holes drilled for screws, four on each side. So they'll go, you know, four screws going this way, four going this way, and glue for the joint and some clamps. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw and clamp this sucker up.
All right, I've got the set of 1x12s cut and just simply placed here on the top. This is the actual top and it is currently upside down. The pocket screw the joints right here and the pocket screws are facing up right now. And I initially planned to just run both of the 1x10s or the 1x12s just parallel, running long ways. And then I thought it might actually be better to have the have the grain in those one by 12s go in perpendicular to the grain of the the pre-made plywood or the pre-made pine top which is why i cut them all down to be running this way and so this first piece right here i've got clamped and sitting in place so i'm going to do pocket screws in the end of each of these and each of these will just get glued and screwed you know consecutively running down the whole line so i've got pocket hole jig set up again and I am going to drill for pocket hole screws on all of these boards. Got it all glued and screwed together. And I'll explain why I put blue tape under each of the joints later. That'll, that's gonna get into part of the overall installation process. And so tomorrow after I'm able to, you know, handle this and start working on the edge banding, let that sit, which means first thing Thursday morning, today's, today's Tuesday, First thing, Tuesday morning at least, at the latest, is when I should be able to start the staining process. And I might be able to do it sooner than that, but it's just going to depend on how the glue process goes tomorrow. So one of the things I'm going to do this morning while I wait for it to warm up a little bit outside and wait for the rest of my family to wake up is I'm going to start sanding some of the components for the trim around the window upstairs. So these two 1x12s right here are going to be kind of a craftsman style trim. It's going to go over those exposed beams up there. Number two shelf boards, they need some sanding before I prime and paint and install and all that good stuff. And then same thing down here, these two 1x6s are the jam material, like the actual, you know, inside of the jam. Like, well, this one's flared out, but you know, the piece here that the casing will attach to. So I'm gonna start sanding those and then drywall is done upstairs on the around the opening. So I'll sand that today. Start start putting some trim up. Unsanded board. Sanded board. I don't know if the difference shows up on camera very well, but pretty big difference when you hit it with 80, 100, and 150 grit to take it from its, you know, basic number two. Raw, common, basic, you know, essentially the same finish as what you'd see on a two by four. Not not much different than that. It's uh it's a pretty rough board. But It'll be, it'll be nice and smooth. I'm gonna use some of this Zinzer cover stain primer. It doesn't need to be oil based, but there is, most people have probably seen places in your house where, not every house, but there's a lot of times where with this, you know, knotty pine, if you've got a shelf board in a closet somewhere, you can see the sap and the tannins and stuff from those knots are always they always seem to be poking through the primer. Um, so over the years when we've been doing remodels in houses, 
will cover if we're if we're trying to just paint there's nothing wrong with the existing shelves and we're trying to just paint them we'll always hit them with that stain blocking oil based primer before we go back over them with the new latex paint because it helps seal those resins and all that just junk that's trying to bleed through the primer and the paint so i don't want that to happen on this you even though this is you know not permanent i, I want it to look good for the few years that it's going to be in place back inside now i've got the 1x12s for the sides of the beam and also the head jam sanded and i'm going to go ahead and put them up i got a i got one of my one of my jack poles back in here to set the laser on it's got magnets on the back so i can set it right where i need to the beam is just tight to the you know the double top plate of the wall which is not not a uh, perfectly level this side right here is actually the low point and then it's going up towards that way or more accurately it's going down towards the center of the house which you can actually see pretty well uh some of the reveal lines with the laser on this this case opening you can see quite a few differences in heights on uh some of these some of these doors <laughs> they're all Pretty, pretty different from that one to this one. And you can really see how the floor is settling on one like this, where it's mm, 3 16 from the corner versus 5 eighths from the corner. <sighs> Lots of fun things like that to deal with. But I'm gonna set this head jam perfectly level just so that as you're looking through it, it doesn't look like it's tilted or anything. Head jam is nailed off. I gotta cut all these shims off. But you can see the, the taper as it gets a little bit lower on this side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and nail on the uh, trim boards that will cover up the beam. trim all up now looks pretty awesome I think so of course I'll have jam legs coming down both sides and casing as well on that but it is time to bring up the bar top and start getting it notched and fit and then continue the process of working on that <laughs> 